The Peshitta classical Syriac, Peshit Siddha, is the standard version of the Bible for churches in the Syriac tradition. The consensus within biblical scholarship, though not universal, is that the Old Testament of the Peshitta was translated into Syriac from Hebrew, probably in the 2nd century AD, and that the New Testament of the Peshitta was translated from the Greek. This New Testament, originally excluding certain disputed books 2 Peter, 2 John, 3 John, Jude, Revelation, had become a standard by the early 5th century. The five excluded books were added in the Harklean version 616 AD of Thomas of Harkel. However, the 1905 United Bible Society Peshitta used new editions prepared by the Irish Syriacist John Gwynne for the missing books. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Topic. The name, Peshitta, is derived from the Syriac Mapakta Siddha, Emkort Peshit literally meaning, simple version. However, it is also possible to translate Siddha as, common, that is, for all people, or, straight, as well as the usual translation as, simple. Syriac is a dialect, or group of dialects, of Eastern Aramaic, originating around Edessa. It is written in the Syriac alphabet, and is transliterated into the Latin script in a number of ways, generating different spellings of the name, Peshitta, Peshitta, p Shitta, Sitta, p Shitto, Fsito. All of these are acceptable, but, Peshitta, is the most conventional spelling in English. <laughs> History of the Syriac versions Topic. Analogy of Latin Vulgate Topic. There is no full and clear knowledge of the circumstances under which the Peshitta was produced and came into circulation. Whereas the authorship of the Latin Vulgate has never been in dispute, almost every assertion regarding the authorship of the Peshitta and its time and place of its origin, is subject to question. The chief ground of analogy between the Vulgate and the Peshitta is that both came into existence as the result of a revision. This, indeed, has been strenuously denied, but since Hort maintained this view in his introduction to New Testament in the original Greek, following Griesbach and Hug at the beginning of the 19th century, it has gained many adherents. As far as the New Testament writings are concerned, there is evidence, aided and increased by recent discoveries, for the view that the Peshitta represents a revision, and fresh investigation in the field of Syriac scholarship has raised it to a high degree of probability. The very designation, Peshitto, has given rise to dispute. It has been applied to the Syriac as the version in common use, and regarded as equivalent to the Greek, Koine, Koine and the Latin, Vulgate, Vulgata. Topic. The designation, P. Shido, Peshitta. Topic. The word itself is a feminine form, meaning, simple, as in, easy to be understood. It seems to have been used to distinguish the version from others which are encumbered with marks and signs in the nature of a critical apparatus. However, the term as a designation of the version has not been found in any Syriac author earlier than the 9th or 10th century. As regards the Old Testament, the antiquity of the version is admitted on all hands. The tradition, however, that part of it was translated from Hebrew into Syriac for the benefit of Hiram in the days of Solomon is surely a myth. That a translation was made by a priest named Asa, or Ezra, whom the king of Assyria sent to Samaria, to instruct the Assyrian colonists mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 17 verses 27-28, is equally legendary. That the translation of the Old Testament and New Testament was made in connection with the visit of Thaddeus to Abgar at Edessa belongs also to unreliable tradition. Mark has even been credited in ancient Syriac tradition with translating his own gospel written in Latin, according to this account and the other books of the New Testament into Syriac. <inaudible> Syriac Old Testament What Theodore of Mopsuestia says of the Old Testament is true of both. These scriptures were translated into the tongue of the Syriacs by someone indeed at some time, but who on earth this was has not been made known down to our day." F. Crawford Burkitt concluded that the translation of the Old Testament was probably the work of Jews, of whom there was a colony in Edessa about the commencement of the Christian era. 
The older view was that the translators were Christians, and that the work was done late in the first century or early in the second. The Old Testament known to the early Syrian church was substantially that of the Palestinian Jews. It contained the same number of books, but it arranged them in a different order. First, there was the Pentateuch, then Job, Joshua, Judges, 1 and 2 Samuel, 1 and 2 Kings, 1 and 2 Chronicles, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Ruth, the Song of Songs, Esther, Ezra, Nehemiah, Isaiah followed by the twelve minor prophets, Jeremiah and Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel. Most of the deuterocanonical books of the Old Testament are found in the Syriac, and the wisdom of Sirach is held to have been translated from the Hebrew and not from the Septuagint. Topic. Syriac New Testament Topic. Of the New Testament, attempts at translation must have been made very early, and among the ancient versions of New Testament scripture, the Syriac in all likelihood is the earliest. It was at Antioch, the capital of Syria, that the disciples of Christ were first called Christians, and it seemed natural that the first translation of the Christian scriptures should have been made there. The tendency of recent research, however, goes to show that Edessa, the literary capital, was more likely the place. If we could accept the somewhat obscure statement of Eusebius that Hegesippus made some quotations from the Gospel according to the Hebrews and from the Syriac Gospel, we should have a reference to a Syriac New Testament as early as 160-180 AD, the time of that Hebrew Christian writer. One thing is certain, the earliest New Testament of the Syriac Church lacked not only the Antilegomena 2 Peter, 2 and 3 John, Jude, and the Apocalypse, but the whole of the Catholic epistles. These were at a later date translated and received into the Syriac canon of the New Testament, as the quotations of the early Syrian fathers take no notice of these New Testament writings. From the 5th century, however, the Peshitta containing both Old Testament and New Testament has been used in its present form as the national version of the Syriac scriptures only. The translation of the New Testament is careful, faithful and literal, and the simplicity, directness and transparency of the style are admired by all Syriac scholars and have earned it the title of Queen of the Versions. Topic. Old Syriac texts Topic. It is in the Gospels, however, that the analogy between the Latin Vulgate and the Syriac Vulgate can be established by evidence. If the Peshitta is the result of a revision as the Vulgate was, then we may expect to find Old Syriac texts answering to the Old Latin. Such texts have actually been found, three texts have been recovered, all showing divergences from the Peshitta, and believed by competent scholars to be older than it, and therefore better translations for use in text criticism. These are, to take them in the order of their recovery, 1 the Cortonian Syriac, 2 the Syriac of Tatian's Diatessaron, and 3 the Sinaitic Syriac. Details on Cortonianth Cortonian consists of fragments of the Gospels brought in 1842 from the Nitrian Desert in Egypt and now in the British Museum. The fragments were examined and edited by Canon Curtin of Westminster in 1858. The manuscript from which the fragments have come appears to belong to the 5th century, but scholars believe the text itself may be as old as the 100 CE. In this recension, the Gospel according to Matthew has the title, Evangelion da Mephereshe, which will be explained in the next section. Details on Tatian's Diatessaron The Diatessaron is the work which Eusebius ascribes to Tatian, an early Christian author considered by some to have been a heretic. Eusebius called it that combination and collection of the Gospels, I know not how, to which he gave the title Diatessaron. Ecclesiastical History Book 4, 29-6 It is the earliest harmony of the four Gospels known to us. Its existence is amply attested in the churches of Mesopotamia and Syria, but it had disappeared for centuries, and not a single copy of the Syriac work survives. A commentary upon it by Ephraim the Syrian, surviving in an Armenian translation, was issued by the Mechitarist Fathers at Venice in 1836, and afterward translated into Latin. Since 1876, an Arabic translation of the Diatessaron itself has been discovered, and it has been ascertained that the Codex Fuldensis of the Vulgate represents the order and contents of the Diatessaron. A translation from the Arabic can now be read in English in J. Hamlin Hill's The Earliest Life of Christ Ever Compiled from the Four Gospels. Although no copy of the Diatessaron has survived, the general features of Tatian's Syriac work can be gathered from these materials. 
It is still a matter of dispute whether Tatian composed his harmony out of a Syriac version already made, or composed it first in Greek and then translated it into Syriac. But the existence and widespread use of a harmony, i.e. combining all four Gospels in one, from such an early period 172 AD, enables us to understand the title Evangelion da it means the gospel of the separated, and points to the existence of single gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, in Syriac, in contradistinction to Tatian's harmony. Theodoret, bishop of Cyrus in the 5th century CE, tells how he found more than 200 copies of the Diatessaron held in honor in his diocese and how he collected them, and put them out of the way, associated as they were with the name of a heretic, and substituted for them the gospels of the four evangelists in their separate forms. Synaitic Sirius in 1892 The discovery of the third text comprising the four Gospels nearly entire, known as the Synaitic Syriac, based on the place where it was found, heightened the interest in the subject and increased the available material. It is a palimpsest, and was found in the monastery of Catherine on Mount Sinai by Agnes S. Lewis and her sister Margaret D. Gibson. The text has been carefully examined and many scholars regard it as representing the earliest translation into Syriac, and reaching back into the second century. Like the Cortonian, it is an example of the «Evangelion da Mephereche», as distinguished from the harmony of Tatian. Relation to Peshitith discovery of these texts has raised many questions which may require further discovery and investigation to answer satisfactorily. It is natural to ask what the relation of these three texts is to the Peshitta. There are still scholars who maintain the priority of the Peshitta and insist upon its claim to be the earliest monument of Syrian Christianity, foremost of whom is G. H. G. William, the learned editor of the Oxford Peshitto. But, the progress of the investigation into Syriac Christian literature points distinctly the other way. From an exhaustive study of the quotations in the earliest Syriac fathers and the works of Ephraim Cyrus, in particular, Burkitt concludes that the Peshitta did not exist in the 4th century. He finds that Ephraim used the diatessaron in the main as the source of his quotation, although his voluminous writings contain some clear indications that he was aware of the existence of the separate Gospels, and he seems occasionally to have quoted from them. Such quotations as are found in other extant remains of Syriac literature before the 5th century bear a greater resemblance to the readings of the Cortonian and the Sinaitic than to the readings of the Peshitta. Internal and external evidence alike point to the later and revised character of the Peshitta. Topic. Brief history of the Peshitta Topic. The Peshitta had from the 5th century onward a wide circulation in the East, and was accepted and honored by the whole diversity of sects of Syriac Christianity. It had a great missionary influence, the Armenian and Georgian versions, as well as the Arabic and the Persian, oh not a little to the Syriac. The famous Nestorian tablet of Chong and witnesses to the presence of the Syriac scriptures in the heart of China in the 8th century. The Peshitta was first brought to the West by Moses of Mindan, a noted Syrian ecclesiastic who unsuccessfully sought a patron for the work of printing it in Rome and Venice. However, he was successful in finding such a patron in the imperial chancellor of the Holy Roman Empire at Vienna in 1555—Albert Widmanstadt. He undertook the printing of the New Testament, and the emperor bore the cost of the special types which had to be cast for its issue in Syriac. Emmanuel Tremelius, the converted Jew whose scholarship was so valuable to the English reformers and divines, made use of it, and in 1569 issued a Syriac New Testament in Hebrew letters. In 1645, the Adidio Princeps of the Old Testament was prepared by Gabriel Sionita for the Paris Polyglot, and in 1657 the whole Peshitta found a place in Walton's London Polyglot. For long the best edition of the Peshitta was that of John Luzden and Karl Schaff, and it is still quoted under the symbol, Sir Schaff, or Sir Sch. The critical edition of the Gospels recently issued by G. H. G. William at the Clarendon Press is based upon some 50 manuscripts. Considering the revival of Syriac scholarship, and the large company of workers engaged in this field, we may expect further contributions of a similar character to a new and complete critical edition of the Peshitta. <laughs> Old Testament Peshitta Topic. 
The Peshitta version of the Old Testament is an independent translation based largely on a Hebrew text similar to the Proto-Masoretic text. It shows a number of linguistic and exegetical similarities to the Targumim but is no longer thought to derive from them. In some passages, the translators have clearly used the Greek Septuagint. The influence of the Septuagint is particularly strong in Isaiah and the Psalms, probably due to their use in the liturgy. Most of the Deuterocanonicals are translated from the Septuagint, and the translation of Sirach was based on a Hebrew text. The choice of books included in the Old Testament Peshitta changes from one manuscript to another, though most of the Deuterocanonicals are usually present. Biblical apocryphas, as 1 Esdras, 3 Maccabees, 4 Maccabees, Psalm chapter 151 can be also found in some manuscripts. The manuscript of Bibliotheca Ambrosiana, discovered in 1866, includes also two Baruch Syriac Apocalypse of Baruch. Books of the Peshitta Old Testament Topic. Topic. Main manuscripts Topic. More than 250 manuscripts of the Old Testament Peshitta are known, and the main and older ones are London, British Library, ad. 14425 also referred to as 5b1 in Leiden numeration, which is dated to the second half of 5th century. The manuscript includes only Genesis, Exodus, Numbers and Deuteronomy, and the text is more similar to the Masoretic text than the text of most other manuscripts, even if somewhere 5b1 has relevant differences. Milan, Bibliotheca Ambrosiana, B21 INF Codex Ambrosianus also referred to as 7a1. Discovered by Antonio Seriani in 1866 and published in 1876-1883. 7A1 dates from the 6th or the 7th century. In 1006 sevenths it became part of the library of the Syrian monastery in Egypt, and in the 17th century was moved to Milan. It is the base text of the critical edition of Peshitta Institute of Leiden, and includes all the books of the Hebrew Bible as well as Wisdom, Letter of Jeremiah, Baruch, Bel and the Dragon, Susanna, Judith, Sirach, 1 Maccabees, 2 Maccabees, 3 Maccabees, 4 Maccabees, 2 Baruch the only extant manuscript in Syriac with the letter of Baruch, 2 Esdras, and the second book of the Jewish War Paris, Bibliothèque Nationale, Syr. 341 also referred to as 8A1. Dating from the 8th century or prior with many corrections, it includes all the books of the Hebrew Bible and Wisdom of Solomon, Letter of Jeremiah, Baruch, Bel and the Dragon, Susanna, Judith, Sirach, 1 Maccabees, 2 Maccabees, 3 Maccabees, Odes, Prayer of Manasseh, and Letter of Baruch. Florence, Laurentian Library, or 58, also referred to as 9A1. This manuscript has a text more similar to the Masoretic text like what 5b1 has, and scholars don't know if this is a more original text than 5b1, or due to later corrections. It includes all the books of the Hebrew Bible and Bell and the Dragon, Susanna, Judith, Prayer of Manasseh, Cambridge, University Library, U, I.1, 2, also referred to as 12a1, or as Buchanan Bible. A 12th century CE manuscript that probably originated in Tur Abdin area and was later moved to India. In the early 19th century, it was ultimately taken to Cambridge by Claudius Buchanan. This manuscript is the best witness of an important textual family, including all the books of the Hebrew Bible and Wisdom of Solomon, Letter of Jeremiah, Baruch, Bel and the Dragon, Susanna, Judith, Sirach, 1 Maccabees, 2 Maccabees, Tobit, 3 Maccabees, 4 Maccabees, 1 Esdras, and Letter of Baruch. Baghdad, Library of Chaldean Patriarchate, 211 Mosul Cod. 4, a 12th century CE manuscript used often as base text for Psalms 152-155. Early print editions Topic. Paris Polyglot, 1645, edited by Gabriel Sionita and probably based on manuscript 17A5, is considered today a recent and unreliable manuscript. London Polyglot, 1657, based on the Paris Polyglot text with an appendix of some collations from other manuscripts kept in Oxford ranging from the 12th to the 17th century CE. 
Samuel Lee edition, which was first printed in London in 1823 by the British and Foreign Bible Society and reprinted in 1826. The text is almost like the text of the London Polyglot, but in the 1826 reprinting, the British and Foreign Bible Society decided to cut the page containing Psalm chapter 151 from the edition, as it is not included in the Protestant canon, even going so far as to cut the page from previously printed editions. Ermia Bible, published in 1852 by Justin Perkins. It also included a parallel translation in the Ermian dialect of the Assyrian Neo-Aramaic language. Mosul edition, published in 1888–1892 by Clement Joseph David and by Mar Georges Ebed Iesu Kayath for the Dominican Mission. This edition, differently from previous editions, includes some books not included in the Hebrew Bible but found in many Peshitta manuscripts. Books included are, Tobit, Judith, the additions to Esther, Wisdom, Sirach, the Letter of Jeremiah, Baruch, Bell and the Dragon, Susanna, 1 Maccabees, 2 Maccabees, and 2 Baruch with the Letter of Baruch. Topic. New Testament Peshitta Topic. The Peshitta version of the New Testament is thought to show a continuation of the tradition of the Diatessaron and Old Syriac versions, displaying some lively Western renderings particularly clear in the Acts of the Apostles. It combines this with some of the more complex Byzantine readings of the 5th century CE. It contains the unusual feature of the absence of 2 Peter, 2 John, 3 John, Jude, and Revelation. However, modern Syriac Bibles add 6th or 7th century translations of these five books to a revised Peshitta text. With this understood, almost all Syriac scholars agree that the Peshitta Gospels are translations of the Greek originals. However, there is a minority viewpoint in scholarship that the Aramaic New Testament of the Peshitta represents the original New Testament and the Greek is a translation of it. The type of text represented by Peshitta is the Byzantine. In a detailed examination of Matthew chapters 1-14, G. William found that the Peshitta agrees with the Textus Receptus only 108 times and with Codex Vaticanus 65 times. Meanwhile, in 137 instances it differs from both, usually with the support of the Old Syriac and the Old Latin, and in 31 instances it stands alone, to this end, and in reference to the originality of the Peshitta, the words of Patriarch Shimon 21 Eshai are summarized as follows. With reference to less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 the originality of the Peshitta text, as the Patriarch and Head of the Holy Apostolic and Catholic Church of the East, we wish to state, that the Church of the East received the scriptures from the hands of the Blessed Apostles themselves in the Aramaic original, the language spoken by our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and that the Peshitta is the text of the Church of the East which has come down from the biblical times without any change or revision. In the 1st century CE, Josephus, the Jewish priest, testified that Aramaic was widely spoken and understood accurately by Parthians, Babylonians, the remotest Arabians, and those of his nation beyond Euphrates with Adiabeni. He says, I have proposed to myself, for the sake of such as live under the government of the Romans, to translate those books into the Greek tongue, which I formerly composed in the language of our country, and sent to the upper barbarians. Joseph, the son of Matthias, by birth a Hebrew, a priest also, and one who at first fought against the Romans myself, and was forced to be present at what was done afterwards, am the author of this work, Jewish Wars Book 1 Preface, Paragraph 1, 1 to 3, and continuing, I thought it therefore an absurd thing to see the truth falsified in affairs of such great consequence, and to take no notice of it, but to suffer those Greeks and Romans that were not in the wars to be ignorant of these things, and to read either flatteries or fictions, while the Parthians, and the Babylonians, and and the remotest Arabians, and those of our nation beyond Euphrates, with the Adiabeni, by my means, knew accurately both whence the war begun, what miseries it brought upon us, and after what manner it ended, Jewish wars Book 1 Preface, Paragraph 2 1-6 Yigal Yadin, an archaeologist working on the Qumran find, also agrees with Josephus' testimony, pointing out that Aramaic was the lingua franca of this time period. Josephus' testimony on Aramaic is also supported by the Gospel accounts of the New Testament specifically in Matthew chapter 4 verses 24-25, Mark chapter 3 verses 7-8, and Luke chapter 6 verse 17, in which people from Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem, Adumaea, Tyre, Sidon, Syria, Decapolis, and from beyond Jordan came to see Jesus for healing and to hear his discourse. 
Topic books of the Peshitta New Testament Topic Note, the following list does not necessarily reflect the historical canonicity or typical order of New Testament books in the Peshitta translation. Topic critical edition of the New Testament Topic The Standard United Bible Society's 1905 edition of the New Testament of the Peshitta was based on editions prepared by Syriacists Philip E. Pusey D. George G. William D. and John Gwynn. These editions comprise G. William and Pusey's 1901 Critical Edition of the Gospels, Gwilliam's Critical Edition of Acts, G. William and Pinkerton's Critical Edition of Paul's Epistles and John Gwynne's Critical Edition of the General Epistles and Later Revelation. This critical Peshitta text is based on a collation of more than 70 Peshitta and a few other Aramaic manuscripts. All 27 books of the common Western canon of the New Testament are included in this British and Foreign Bible Society's 1905 Peshitta edition, as is the Adultery Pericope John 7 The 1979 Syriac Bible, United Bible Society, uses the same text for its New Testament. The online Bible reproduces the 1905 Syriac Peshitta NT in Hebrew characters. Topic translations of the Peshitta topic James Murdoch The New Testament, or, The Book of the Holy Gospel of Our Lord and God, Jesus the Messiah 1851. John Wesley Etheridge A literal translation of the four Gospels from the Peshito, or Ancient Syriac and the Apostolical Acts and Epistles from the Peshito, or Ancient Syriac, to which are added, the remaining Epistles and the Book of Revelation, after a later Syriac text 1849. George M. Lamps of the Holy Bible from the Ancient Eastern Text 1933 contains both the Old and New Testaments according to the Peshitta text. This translation is better known as the Lamsa Bible. He also wrote several other books on the Peshitta and Aramaic primacy such as Gospel Light, New Testament Origin, and Idioms of the Bible, along with a New Testament commentary. To this end, several well-known evangelical Protestant preachers have used or endorsed the Lamsa Bible, such as Oral Roberts, Billy Graham, and William M. Branham. Andrew Gabriel Roth Aramaic English New Testament AENT, which includes a literal translation of the Peshitta on the left side pages with the Aramaic text in Hebrew characters on the right side with Roth's commentary. The AENT is essentially a revision of the Yunnan Interlinear New Testament from Matthew chapter 1 to Acts 15 and James Murdoch's Acts 15 and onward. Andamalil Mani Kathanar, Vishuddha Grantham. New Testament translation in Malayalam. Matthew Apani CMI, Peshitta Bible. Translation including Old and New Testaments in Malayalam 1997. Arch Koripiskopos Kurian Kaniamparambal Vishuddha Grantham. Translation including Old and New Testaments in Malayalam. Janet Magera Aramaic Peshitta New Testament Translation, Aramaic Peshitta New Testament Translation Messianic Version, and Aramaic Peshitta New Testament Vertical Interlinear in three volumes 2006. Magera is connected to George Lamsa, Rev. Glenn David Bauscher The Aramaic English Interlinear New Testament 1st edition 2006, Psalms, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes 4th edition 2011 The basis for the original Aramaic New Testament in Plain English 2007, 6th edition 2011. Another literal translation that comes as an Interlinear New Testament with Hebrew characters, and a smoother English version. Bauscher translated from the Western Peshito text. Victor Alexander Aramaic New Testament and Disciples New Testament. Alexander is a native speaker of Syriac. The Way International Aramaic English Interlinear New Testament Paul Yunnan, a native Syriac speaker, is currently working on an interlinear translation of the Peshitta into English. Herb Jan of Exegesis Bibles translated the Western Peshitto in Aramaic New Covenant. A. Francis Werner Ancient Roots Translinear Bible, New Testament William Norton A. Translation, in English daily used, of the Peshito Syriac text, and of the received Greek text, of Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, and 1 John, with an introduction on the Peshito Syriac text, and the received Greek text of 1881 and A. Translation in English daily used, of the 17 letters forming part of the Peshito Syriac books. William Norton was a Peshitta primacist, as shown in the introduction to his translation of Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, and 1 John. James Scott Trim Hebraic Roots Version New Testament. In Matthew, Trim utilizes the various Hebrew versions of Matthew and the Old Syriac texts. The other three Gospels are translated from the Old Syriac Gospels, while the rest of the New Testament uses the Peshitta. 
Trim has been accused of plagiarizing the Way International's Aramaic English Interlinear New Testament. Lani Martin The Testimony of Yeshua. This is a revision of the Etheridge and Murdoch translations. Joseph Pashka Aramaic Gospels and Acts and Aramaic Gospels and Acts Companion. The translation includes both the Peshitta text following he 1905 critical text and a translation of it. The companion transliterates the Aramaic text without vowels. Gorgias Press, Antioch Bible, a Peshitta text and translation of the Old Testament, New Testament, and Apocrypha, in Spanish exists Biblia Peshitta and Espanol Spanish Peshitta Bible by Hallman Bible Publishers, Nashville, Tennessee. USA, published 2007. Topic manuscripts of the New Testament Topic The following manuscripts are in the British Archives, British Library, add, 14,470 complete text of 22 books, from the 5th, 6th century Rabula Gospels Caboris Codex Codex Philips 1388 British Library, add, 12,140 British Library, add, 14,479 British Library, add, 14,455 British Library, add, 14466 British Library add 14467 British Library add 14669 topic see also topic bible translations into aramaic topic notes topic topic source topic brock sebastian p 2006 the bible in the syriac tradition english version gorgeous press llc isbn 1593333305 dirksen pb 1993 La Peshitta dell'Antico Testamento, Brescia, ISBN 88-394-0494-5 Flesher, PVM, ed. 1998. Targum Studies Vol. 2, Targum and Peshitta. Atlanta. Kiras, George Anton, 1996. Comparative Edition of the Syriac Gospels, Aligning the Old Syriac Sinaiticus, Keratonianus, Peshitta and Harklin Versions. Brill, Piscataway, N.J., Gorgias Press, 2002 2nd ed., 2004 3rd ed. Lamsa, George M. The Holy Bible from Ancient Eastern Manuscripts. ISBN 0-06-064923-2. Pinkerton, J. and R. Kilger The New Testament in Syriac. London, British and Foreign Bible Society, Oxford University Press. Pusey, Philip E. and G. H. G. William 1901. Tetrevangelium Sanctum Iuxta Simplicum Serorum Versionum. Oxford University Press. Weitzman, M. P. The Syriac Version of the Old Testament, An Introduction. ISBN 0-521-63288-9. Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Nickel, Thomas. Syriac Versions. In 1915, International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. Topic. External links. Topic. Digital text of the Peshitta, Old and New Testament with full Eastern vocalization. The Peshitta divided in chapters. The New Testament with full Western vocalization at SyriacBible.nl. The Aramaic New Testament. Dukhrana Biblical Research Syriac Peshitta New Testament at archive.org The development of the canon of the New Testament Jewish Encyclopedia, Bible Translations Youngest known Masoretic Manuscript Old Testament Interlinear Aramaic, English New Testament also Trilinear Old Testament Hebrew, Aramaic, English W. Emery Barnes, On the Influence of Septuagint on the Peshitta, JTS 1901, pp. 186-197. Andreas Juckel, Septuaginta and Peshitta Jacob of Edessa quoting the Old Testament in Ms. Bl. Add 17134 Journal of Syriac Studies Downloadable Clear Text of English Translations Scripture, SF. Net Murdoch underscore NT underscore Peshitta Norton underscore NT underscore Peshitta Etheridge underscore NT underscore Peshitta